up, boy. You like that? You like that? I like that. That is very offensive. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Tact Lab. I'm Tyler, and uh, like always, I'm surrounded by three friends. Um, I forgot to say it again. Uh, this is a this is a show where we sit down and talk about pretty much anything. Yeah. Um, I'm getting it. Yeah. I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah, you need to write it down. I do, and then I don't bring up my Google Docs, so yeah. fuck me. But uh, uh, to my right, I got Chris. Chris, how are you feeling? I'm a little uh, anxious for our casting couch premiere. <laughs> it's a doozy. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking doozy. So, um, how are you, Thomas? Good. Uh, to piggyback off of that, um, go over and check out YouTube. We're doing uh, video for the first time ever. Yowzers. Yeah. So if you want to see our handsome faces, go on over to YouTube. Yep. And then, uh, Alex, how are you? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. We can't honestly. Talk about how you are, but we're yeah. hoping for the best. Yeah. You're going to pull through. Prayers. You're about to be chipped. <laughs> Give them your T's and P's, boys. Thoughts and prayers, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yes. So, um, I'm okay. You good? <laughs> how are you? How are, how how are, are you, you after visiting Jerry Leto's camp the other day? Yeah, we need to bring that up. Um, it's it was uh it was a wild time alex uh alex still recovering um that's what i meant by good yeah <laughs> um but we're gonna we're gonna play the audio right yeah we we weren't able to get video in there because we just set it up here mm -hmm. but we were able to smuggle our audio in and out yeah let's so, play that now yeah let's play it y'all ready mm -hmm. let's do it this is jerry leto's cult the scene starts out with a scared young man led in by an escort so is this where I'm supposed to meet the guy? Yeah, man. Right through here. So what's he like? Uh, he's cool. I can't see anything bad about the guy, honestly. You really like it here. Great, because I'm looking for a change of pace. I need some new scenery in my life. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, man. Sometimes uh, you just need a tribe to uh, accept you for who you are. I was never really accepted, and then I found this place, you know? I know it was my family. Well, here you go. Walk through the door and wait. So how long do I wait? Alex turned around and the escort was gone. He turns back to the door and looks towards the doorknob, grips it and pushes it only to be greeted by blackness. He peers into the darkness and sees a silhouette of a figure about 20 feet into the room. Come in, child. Come, come. Come closer, child, so that I may feel your energy. Really nice to meet you. Uh, great place you got here. What's your name, child? Alex. Alex. What do you seek in life, Alex? Uh, man, I really don't know. You know, maybe happiness. I guess that's what's really important to have, right? Of course, child. Of course. But happiness is a mere stepping stone to what is possible here. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds uh, awesome. That's why I'm here. Uh, a coworker told me about her, how her life uh, turned around, and uh, you know she's on a different wavelength, wave path, you know, whatever wave path. Uh, she's really happy, I guess. Yes, child, <laughs> you will be able to obtain anything you desire through the way of the Leto. Okay, nice. Uh, I'm ready, sir. Whatever it takes. Way of the Leto. Yeah. Say it. Uh, way of the Leto. Again. Way of the Leto? Are you okay, dude? A spotlight turns on, illuminating a table covered in food and surrounded by half-naked women in aprons. Holy shit. Eat, child, eat and enjoy. Jared floats to the table and begins devouring food and touching what's close to him as he pleases. Alex walks cautiously to the table. I don't really know what to say. This has never happened to me before, sir. This is just a drop in the bucket, child. Anything you wish for can be yours, child. Jared has his hands in between a woman's butt cheeks, swiping his hand like a credit card and retreating it to inhale the aromas. That's weird. The guy likes to party. What's the catch? Nothing of the sort, child. We share here. We spread the wealth and knowledge. You must work as well. Give and you'll be given. 
Okay. I think that's fair. Got to give to get back, I guess. Yes. Eat, child. Alex sits and begins to cautiously eat as a woman wraps her arms around him to embrace his energy. Whoa. All right. Cool. I like that. Relax. Relax, child. Jared begins taking his rib off as a woman finishes pulling it away. This might be too fast for me, sir. I'm a little reserved. Jared stands from the table and shows his fully erect penis. Another girl comes to him and begins giving him oral sex. Alex, staring away awkwardly, glancing back and forth. Um, I might need to go. This is not what I thought it would be. Relax, Alex. Enjoy the food and presence of the bodies. Free yourself. Free your energy. As soon as it began, it ended as Jared ejaculates into the throat of the strange woman. Alex is awkward now, but oddly aroused. He looks closer at the girl. It's the girl that got him into this mess. It was Melissa. I think I need to go, actually. Seize him! Get the- The women that were surrounding him suddenly grip all at once, forcing him down off his chair. Get the fuck off me! Jared walks from his spot to Alex to the other side of the table. Dick, still fully erect. Relax, Alex. You're in good company, child. You need to release your energy. Remove his clothes. No! No! The rest of the women grab and hold Alex and sprawl him out on the table. Yes, make sure he's comfortable, girls. Please stop. I won't tell anyone about this. Just let me go. I will just leave. Alex, you're not leaving. You just got here, child. Jared thrust his mouth onto Alex's cock, feverishly trying to get it hard. Stop! Stop! Stop, stop. Oh, God, stop. I need your energy, Alex. Give me your energy. Alex's dick is fully erect and working in and out of Jared's mouth. I need this, Alex. I need success. I need it. If I don't have success, then I'm nothing. Oh, no. Alex busted the largest oh. note he ever shot, probably from the adrenaline. Yes, oh, child. Me. Away with him. Alex was carried away through a secret door in the wall. Jared puts his robe back on, and another group of women come out to clean and redo the table. A few minutes go by, and the door that started all of this opens once again. Oh, hey there, sir. My name is Thomas. It's so nice to meet you. Whoa, close call. Close <laughs> yeah. call. I don't was... know I got out. I don't either. Woo, that was... I had to sneak down in the basement, <laughs> bust that motherfucker out. That was nice. I killed Jared Leto. No, I think. I think Thomas is still. The, oh, he's here. I'm right here. I saw about five Jared Letos <laughs> in the basement hanging up on coat uh, meat hooks. On coat meat hooks. <laughs> coat meat hooks. COVID meat hooks. <laughs> there, I think. I think there's just multiple Jared Letos down there. Once when one dies, another one's there to take his place. Yeah. All right. Let's get right into things. Um, today we're going to talk about um, cults again. One in particular. Technically, it's a cult. Yes. Or is it a religion? It's a cult. It's a satanic cult. Or is it an idea? Right. Um, it's a movement idea. It's a way of life. So you're not even calling it a cult. It's technically a cult, but there's no leader. Yeah. I, I think there was a leader. I, I think it's more of a way of life. There's a guy who created it, but there's not an actual figurehead. Oh, yeah. no one run. There's got to be someone running it. We're talking Order of the Nine Angles. Angels. Angles. Angles in outfield. Angles. <laughs> that, that movie? I cried during that movie. <laughs> you you cried? Why? Nine angles in the outfield? Because Christopher <laughs> Lloyd was in it. He was going back to the future. I laughed at the part. He, I was trying to make it. an angle name out of Christopher Lloyd, but I couldn't get it. <laughs> it was too right. Christopher Trapper Lloyd. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's an obtuse joke. <laughs> We just need seven more angle jokes. We're almost there. We have broke the septenary system. Nope. <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. All right, bring up the name one more time. O9A or the ONA or the Order of the Nine Angles. So it is angles and not angels. Angles. Yes. Okay. Like yeah. a seagull. Yeah. Like Steven Seagull. They are That's a Nazi. Goal. A Nazi occult. <laughs> Steven Seagal. So there's the seven angles. Yeah. Angles. No. Like angles. It's the nine like, angles. It's not, the, no, not no. the angles. Because the seven, <laughs> there are the seven angels. But not, it's not this A N G O L S. Angles. <laughs> it's <laughs> angles. <laughs> it's not a bird. Cool. All right. And, and we're also going to do this one chip challenge. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Let's do that. Is that time? I yeah, guess yeah. so. So this is, a, this is a Nazi Satanist group. 
Yeah. Um, they just keep going. Me and Chris are going to eat this one chip. It says they prefer to be called a Nazi occult, this as they prefer chip. to be called, describe sense. themselves. So, I, I they promote what? Well, I have a quote from David about it. Who is David? David is the guy that they say created the Order of the Nine Angels. What year? Those things really blow. Seventies, the eighties is when he got prominent. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay, seventies and eighties. This this came about. <clears throat> now he denies it. Holy fuck. It's David Myatt denies that he was Anton Long. Was your chip this big? Yes. Was yours broken like mine? Yes. Oh. This is going to be tough for me Tyler, to keep you, talking you about. You want a little the... piece? <laughs> no, man. Mine's I'm not gonna... broke. Mine's like a big Dorito. I'm going to be pissing on my ass if I eat that. It don't taste good at all. <laughs> what does it smell like? It smells like ramen noodles. Dude, y'all guys are going to get fucked this up. This smells like ramen noodles. You've got water, right? Chris doesn't have water. I got you water. Need, I, I got me a... You need something. All right. You I got, ain't chocolate. I got another thing of... Water, a sucker, and a cowtail. You're gonna need like sugar. The not the order of the nine angles. They they promote supernatural, hateful system, and yes. they condemn liberals, Judeo Christian society. It really smells like Raymond. They're neo Nazis in a nutshell. They They're, long for a new imperial age. You ready? Let me break. Are you gonna uh, put your, in your mouth. What is this Vindex? I keep hearing it. about. Oh my god! There's somebody. A lo- it's a ludicrous figure called yeah, Vindex. Double stack it. I don't know about Vindex. Dude, why is it my hands look like? I guess it's some. Shirt. I guess it's a figurehead they worship. There we go, baby. Oh, okay. Um, praise your occult leaders. <laughs> so uh, Thomas and Chris are currently eating the Pocky chip. It's Pocky. very dry. Yeah, you guys are gonna feel it. We'll let them simmer on that for a second. <laughs> Still chewing. That last, the, the last swallow is what's gonna slide down the back of your throat, and it's gonna. <laughs> it looks like I've been in a coal mine. Yeah. That's give, pretty bad. Give it a second. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes are red. <laughs> oh shit! Oh fuck! <laughs> you sweating already? What is your hot chucky? <laughs> are you good? <laughs> you okay, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just oh trying to find God. sin. You can't find it. <laughs> Please find it. Don't die. My lips hurt. <laughs> Wait, Chris, are you? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Chris, you, you okay? I can breathe. Okay. Wait, for real. <laughs> Drink something. <laughs> yeah, I'd... I gotta last like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm concerned. I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm concerned. He's crying. <laughs> I was crying too. Dude, you're like so serious, right? <laughs> you're looking into my soul. I can't even look at you. <laughs> it's pretty hot. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> I'm worried. Okay, so it's did the y'all... back of my throat. It's really <laughs> <laughs> did y'all say it's a neo-Nazi group that is traditional Satanism? <laughs> yes. Um, can I give you what I think this group look, reminds me of? Uh, I imagine the Order of Nine Angles are a bunch of horny incels dressed as Ivan Ooze fucking goats in a shed. Why do you think they're horny incels? <laughs> they're incels. They're horny. I mean, this sucker. Because sex is a big part of their, their ideology. It just burns really bad. <laughs> uh oh. I can't. I can't look at this fucking filter. What? What are you eye, filtering your me? Your eyes are so big. <laughs> it is. <sighs> Thomas, look this way. <laughs> I'm trying to get this open. Hold on. It's so hot in the back. Like it's not oh even my tongue. My it's so hot in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why the app made that so big. <laughs> it's like a gnome. <laughs> <clears throat> this is terrible. Okay, so the um, the order of the nine angles, like we said earlier, is a satanic uh, cult, a cult group. Right. And they follow what they call the left hand <laughs> path. Now, part of this, their cult group is they believe in magic. And they spell magic with the CK at the end. Right. Because they're cool. Magic the Gathering. So, yeah, magic. It's the hardcore way. So, in the realm of the divine magic, you have a left-hand path and a right-hand path. The left-hand path rejects societal conventions and status quo. 
Um, <laughs> often they're they are malicious. Um, they have black magic, and they uh, are benevolent. Oh yeah. Or malicious, sorry, not benevolent. <laughs> Anyway, so it's, it's it's like the evil side of magic, yeah. right? But yeah, they also yeah. uh, <laughs> definitely they also promote uh, that human history can be divided into aeons, right? Aeons? Yeah, I ain't got that far. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you okay, Chris? Yeah. Yeah. As long as I don't touch my eyes, I think I'm good. I think it's hurting you more than it's hurting me. Yeah, it hurts really bad in the back of my throat. <laughs> <laughs> But being that they're left-handed, left-hand path, it goes with their overall group because it's like trying to overthrow society. Right. Um, they they question religious dogmas, that kind of thing. Right. They <clears throat> they pretty much just go against everything oh, yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Anything that's based on um, Judo-Christian values. They Don't they worship Adolf Hitler? He is like a revered figure. Yeah, they don't necessarily worship him, but they take a lot of his teachings and doings as what part a way of life. life. Um, that he's fucking a Nazi? <laughs> the Aryan part. <laughs> like, I mean, like, you know, we should do some socialism, or is it like burn the Jews? It's that like part. that part. Burn the Jews, and then the part where Hitler is trying to get all the Aryans into outer space. It yeah. says that they believe oh, yeah. that Adolf was sent by the gods to guide them to greatness. I can't believe we didn't bring napkins. Yeah, I still got <laughs> chip pieces flaking out of my teeth, so it's making it hot. Yeah. They believe in the inequality of the races. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like Thomas was saying, they believe uh, in aeons. Right. What are aeons? Like different stages in humanity. Mm-hmm. Different mm-hmm. levels. Like different eras because of, of human civilization. is because they think that right now we're in the Western civilization and that it will last until 2390, and this will be followed by chaos. Mm-hmm. 2390? 300 years from now, roughly? Uh, uh, almost 400 years from now? Yes. Yeah. What's going to happen? We're going to be plunged into chaos. There's going to be a river of lava, and uh, that's why they're trying to grow... Hold on. They're trying to grow military right now to stop the Judo Christians. Yeah. What are Judo Christians? Is that like a oxymoron, uh, isn't it? It's current no, Christianity came from Judea, Judea. Yeah, like Judeo Christianity, probably. It's the current Jews and Christians together. And being that the Western world was influenced by Judeo Christian cultures and Greco Roman beliefs, they just wanted to get rid of it and start over mm. via terrorism. So they believe the Judeo Christians are creating an army. So they have to. So. The Order of the Nine Angles is creating their own army to combat them. Well, they don't think that the Judo Christians are creating an army. They think that they threaten human growth. Yes. So that's why they need an army to stop them. And this will also ensure that the Aryan society can colonize the Milky Way after 2390. Colonize the Milky Way? Yep. yep. It poss- it's possible 400 years from now. The Imperiums. So like Warhammer. 40K. The Terrans? Yeah. Wait, no. The Terrans. Yes, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. Spicy <clears throat> mouth. Does your teeth feel like they're not missing? <laughs> Mine do. They're not missing. I feel like my teeth feel like they're gone, and my lips are burning. But the uh, okay, order of nine angles do not have a central command. Right. I just I just have trouble believing that. They're, How? I just. It's like BLM. Where's their headquarters? Do they have dues? I bet they have no, one. There's no money involved. No. BLM, let's get they some operate. Money. They uh, they operate by a network of like satanic practitioners called the Collective, spell with a K. Yeah, they're edgy. Okay, like if you could pick any religion or cult, these would be the edgiest ones. They always have to go against the grain. They're like the hipsters of neo Nazis. They're always different on purpose because that's the the teachings that they have that you can only grow yourself by pushing away different morals and stuff that stand in your path, and that's what inherently brings the violence. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, so <clears throat> they're a leaderless group. More or less, yes. Yeah. There's like one figure person that, I guess, culture as a whole has put to like a name and a face. But overall, there's not one person saying do this or do that. It's a collective group of collective teachings. They have a spokesperson. Right. Donald Trump. No. no. Hmm. He's called the Outer represent, re, Representative. The Outer Rim. Outer Rim. 
and it's someone they put forth to like give information to the world, but I think it's done on purpose to trick people to uh, induce like authority. Like there is a f- authority figure in the uh, nine angles, so this perks person is kind of like a trickery method. So they, if you're a follower of this, you you know what you need to do. Like you don't need leadership, right? Yeah, because they they have all their teachings and papers and books out in the open. So to become one of the order, you have to follow a certain strict set of guidelines, and it's all spelled out black and white. But it doesn't involve money. It doesn't involve you giving anything to them other than violence yourself. Like you pretty much give yourself for this idea that you will help the Aryan race travel to the Milky Way. Right. <laughs> but they do reason. encourage violence. Yeah, violence is a tool to break down your walls and to become a better, stronger <sighs> person and to grow. You all right? It just tastes terrible. It didn't taste too good. Yeah, taste was the worst part. My taste, throat's not really burning. Yeah, the chip itself was bad. Taste, like stuff's coming up. No, it's like... You know this pack? Have you ever ate spicy uh, ramen? No. Yeah, the spicy chicken ramen? It, it, it tastes like I just emptied the spice packet into my mouth. Mm-hmm. See, my tongue's burning, but that's about it. My throat and everything right is fine. Right now, my lips are just like... My lips are... T- <laughs> they're numb. Like, you ever see the character of a person with red lips? That's how I feel. Yeah. Do you need some milk, Chris? I got some chocolate milk upstairs. I think I'm just r- rubbing this cow tail around. A little, bit, a little bit of sugar helped. <laughs> I took that edge off. You do put the cow tail in your mouth. It actually kind of... I got this. <laughs> Jesus. Thanks, Amp. It helped. All right. So so do they have one book that they read from and, and study, or do they kind of go back to the black book of Satan, or, or what's their what's their philosophy? You know, like what's their re- literature? They have um, a website. That has a collection of PDFs that give ways that you have to follow to be indoctrined um, and ways of life you must follow. And then the steps and levels in which you can ascend while in the ONA. Um, So there's levels. Yes, there's different levels. It's kind of like a cult in that regard because there's... uh, There's a beginner to to a highly advanced follower. Right. Right, which no one has gotten. I think they said that they've only reached the fourth level out of anybody that they have publicly known. How many levels are there? Seven. Oh. Yeah, the last level is called Immortal. Okay. Yeah, and I also want to say that uh, another way of life that they go uh, that helps you become uh, ONA is being a Holocaust denier. Because. Hmm. Yeah. They say that uh, the Holocaust deniers uh, say that this was a myth and that the military and the culture of the time used the Holocaust as propaganda to deconstruct Nazi culture. They don't they don't like not they don't like they think the Holocaust was a lie. These O nine A's think the Holocaust was a lie. They mm-hmm. think it never happened, that it was all just media propaganda to to just fuel the I've, war. I've seen this in the news recently, so if if there's people that there, these are possibly O9A members or people that follow that believe that the Holocaust never happened. <laughs> I, that's what <laughs> you could potentially say that they're part of the nine angles because they're saying the Holocaust doesn't happen or they're just assholes. I mean, yeah, just trying to get a reaction from yeah. people. Okay, okay. Another thing <clears throat> about them, which follows the Nazi culture, but doesn't necessarily mean they are Nazis, is they believe in elitism and uh, physical and mental. Physical and mental fitness above everything else. So these dudes are yoked. Yeah, because one of the things to be in it is you can't be in the order without being physically fit. Wait, and they're white supremacist? Yes. Yeah, these Well, are... they're technically not white supremacist. I mean, you'd think. They just think that the <laughs> Jews and the Christians are keeping them down. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, the Judo-Christians or the Magian Nazarene. I mean, so these guys are the picturesque neo-Nazis. Yeah, skinheads and fucking huge. Yeah, because uh, these dudes are probably scary looking. Yeah, because one of the things is you have to incite violence, but you don't have to. You just use violence to grow. Another thing is to get to the second level, you have to go out and live in nature for six months and survive in the wilderness with no anything. Sounds like the military, man. 
That's why a lot of them came from yeah, military for, background. I bet 90% of them are like stolen valor. <laughs> I don't Except know. Except for the guys that are, are currently in the military that got exposed. Oh. Right. Yeah, I yeah. did hear about I got the several. guy that ambushed, wanted yeah. to ambush his unit. Mm-hmm. There's several stories? Yeah, yeah there's okay, a few. I'll, I thought of them, yeah. Yeah, there's a few different stories about people. But uh, So that you went over level two. <clears throat> well, first is the sevenfold way. And that is the moon, Venus, Mercury, the sun, <laughs> Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Used, they use that to reach the tree of wood. It's spelled W Y R D, which uh, spell which translates into destiny. So, I pretty much just imagine that the cult of the nine angles is actually just like, you know, you're a Cancer, you're a Virgo, you're Aries, <laughs> but we're all ripped as fuck and and cool and touch kids. That's what they do. Yeah, the I've pedos? heard. Yeah. Well, I, I read in one thing that touching children and sexual abuse is not necessary to be in the order of the nine angles. It's just that they use that to break their paths down. That's a method that they use, but it's not necessary. As I read that sexual abuse was encouraged. It's encouraged, but it's yeah. not necessary per the doctrine. They yeah. do it, though. I was, <laughs> I'm, yeah. like, I'm a moderate angle. I don't, yeah. I'm not a pedo. <laughs> <laughs> like I thought I thought like child abuse and rape was common. Well, see, like we could join, we could <laughs> technically join the Order of the Nine Angles because there's no figurehead or no one to call back to. We can go in their teachings and then stolen valor. This shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like we can we can join the order. We just have to follow the part where we're physically fit, willing to progress ourselves, but we don't necessarily have to touch children. Oh, and we don't have to be a Nazi. To eat this chip, because we just out <laughs> him. <laughs> I feel pretty good. Are you still hurting? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I figured it opened my sinuses, but it did the opposite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, hell, the nine angles ripped off everybody else to make their text, so I'm sure we can trick fuck them. I mean, I'm pretty sure they just stole most of their text from the Black Book of Satan. Black Book of Satan, they stole stuff from ancient Arabic texts. They stole it from uh, Sanskrit writings. They stole all kinds of shit. The Nine Angles is from, like, six different cultures. Yeah. Well, Which, didn't the leader that started... Well, didn't the guy that started that live with Taliban, yeah. Al-Qaeda, for uh, he turned, years? Well, he turned Taliban in 98. Okay. He wasn't a Muslim until then. Okay. But he was a British neo-Nazi. And then he turned to Muslim? Yeah. Oh, okay, so... But what's, he, what's but he going, is apparently the leader of like several different neo-Nazi groups. What's that, what's the deal with him being a Muslim but also a practicing neo-Nazi? Nothing he's against both. that. No. Huh. Okay. I mean, I'm just I'm just yeah. trying to understand now he's, Nazi he's cults. <laughs> See, I thought I was doing research too. He's a neo-Nazi, then turned Muslim and support Al Qaeda. Right. So but does, the whole thing of the and they practice Satanism though. was against against a common religion yeah. and stuff. Which is also funny too that they practice Satanism, but at the same time you can't they, have Satan without. Yeah, and they denounce. God. Yeah, they denounce the tur- the Church of Satan and the Temple of Set. Mm-hmm. They say that these are just glamour churches that they're in it for the money, not for the actual. They're not actually doing acts of anything. transcending. Fuck, these guys are the real deal. Yeah, and the only reason that they actually believe in Satanism is because it's taboo. It's like yeah. it goes against the grain of everyone else, and this group or cult or whatever their main focus is to go against what everyone else does they're they're the person in the room that everybody says yeah i'll i'll take a hundred dollars and they're like fuck you i'll burn it mm-hmm. yeah like they do the extreme opposite on purpose right yeah well they i was reading where they are um like what you guys brought up about them being pedophiles mm-hmm. or or just or just being open about you know being un, with underage people right i don't know if there's a man or a woman type of you know turn like a a a limit there but um yeah they're not against homosexual or anything that's actually one thing i did read that there there's not a like gender bias or anything like you can be with a man or a woman they don't care so i also was reading how they're pretty um open about their violence i mean as we've said they support it but like let's say they let's say one of the members raped a girl Right. They will go back to the rape location and take a picture in their full uniform and their 09A flag and support what happened at that location. Right. Yeah. That's that's pretty sinister. 
Yeah. One of the, I guess it's very based on from Nexion to Nexion, which, which one, how they handle their right uh, beliefs, I guess you can say belief. Right. Yeah. And I I did find the uh, the different levels to that you can transcend into. So you can you start out by being fit and then saying, I'm going to be in the order and you're a neophyte. And then you do some acts of violence, show your growth. Then you're an, you become an initiate. And then from there you become an external adept, internal adept master, which they only know four or five people that have become master. And this is where it stopped. Then you have grandmaster. And then the top tier is immortal. Well, have it's immortal where you literally maybe become like you, you are get transcended. Killed? No, you are transcended. You can't be touched. So you become like the Hulk Hogan of you, the thing. Yeah, the like immortal Hulk Hogan. You're unstoppable. I just thought maybe they lay you out on a slab and kill your ass, and then you transcend to <laughs> another level. No, this is where you're able to lead the Aryan race to the Milky Way. I should go up there and be like, about the same thing. <laughs> that sounds like they're fucking killing you. But you, you, you take you take magics. You take you like a magics. You take like a cyanide tablet and just like dip out. On your own in a in a cold room, and they come in and just take your body out. You just become so edgy, like I don't need to live. I'm well, gonna go against life. That's what all that's what all cults basically do. They're just like, let's go to the next level. Everybody drink the Kool Aid. But they're not pushing people to kill themselves. They're pushing for uh, physical and spiritual growth among yourself mm -hmm. until you get to level seven, and then you already are immortal. <laughs> and then this also comes with the. Uh, the human sacrifice is encouraged among violence. Right, but oh, they, they, they don't do human sacrifice. <clears throat> yeah, they don't. do human. Though they do human sacrifice. I was reading that they substitute the human body for an animal body when it comes time to do. Oh, that. I'm no. sorry. God did in Canada. So you can't kill a person, but you can diddle kids. From okay. uh, from what I read in the their actual teachings, they do not condone killing animals. That they, they would rather you kill a person, but. The person must self-sacrifice and be tested and willing. So the person has to willingly say, you can sacrifice me. I want to give you my energy. So then the person doing the killing absorbs the person's energy to help strengthen themselves. And then they are able to enter a new level of sinister consciousness. It's probably them room with the people. <laughs> well, then that sounds like we How should... How do say that word? Round with the? Round round, with the? Yeah, the round with... <laughs> well, then... They have some weird words. It's like... Nerds, Dungeon and Dragon nerds with guns and knives, and strong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they sound they sound like they would look really intimidating. They have witches. Well, they have priests and priests <laughs> right. too. Uh, they I, just don't have a physical church. It's just <clears throat> floating around. He's had different groups. Well, then can I tell? Can I talk about the ceremony? Go yeah. for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna make it? Yeah. It's it's hurting you, isn't it? Yeah, it is a little bit. Fuck, my stomach's burning. Mm -hmm. It just hit mine. You feel like a fire going up your esophagus when you breathe in really deep. Yeah. And <sighs> it's still around the mm -hmm. edges of, like, I'm going to need to put my head in a bucket of water when I get home. It lingered on my lips for a while. Yeah. For a long time, remember? <laughs> Jesus. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, guess it, I guess it's called the Ceremony of the Recalling. Okay. The priestess blindfolds the priest and takes him to each member of the congregation who kiss him. After being lifted on an altar containing red candles and quartz tetrahedron, so I guess the quartz tetrahedron absorbs energy and and memories. And so anyways, the priest has his robe removed by the priestess as others walk around him. After performing a sexual act on the priest, the priestess removes the robes of the congregation. So now everybody's naked. Nice. Meanwhile, the mistress, dressed in a white robe, takes the person she has chosen and indulges herself according to her desire. Um, the congregation consumes the consecrated cakes made from wheat, water, egg, honey, animal fat, and marijuana. I guess the marijuana is there to give you a little trip spell. Probably. Um, and wine and take their own pleasures according to their desires. So now the whole congregation is basically like the Jared Leto and they're just mm -hmm. enjoying yeah. themselves in this atmosphere. They're sucking each other off. The ceremony ends with the killing of a chosen one in a symbolic... Now, now here's where it's conflicting for me with the info that I found. In a symbolic sacrifice, an animal replaces a person. 
On the next new moon, the congregation consumes cakes containing the sacrificial victim's blood. Huh. Now, maybe that's something that was said without the information really being there. Like, I can guarantee you, like you like you guys have pointed out, someone's probably died for this cause. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I bet there's also people that are gone that have gone to a higher level that we just don't know about. This These people seem like kind of a secretive yeah. movement. And the other thing is it's not that someone tells you you go to a higher level. You pretty much self-promote yourself there. Mm. But you have to show that, yes, I am master level, and here's why. I killed this guy. I did this. I threw sand at this guy. What if you killed the entire Nexion in our country and go there and be like, I wiped out these this whole group of people. Now they, I'm the leader of this group, so they, I'm the fucking immortal. You'd be grandmaster. Yeah. So you, basically you have to have big dick energy. Yeah. Very big dick energy. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah. you have to be like a badass, man or woman. Yeah. Yeah, like you, they don't care. You can't just you can't just pretend to have big dick energy. No, like we probably would not be able to hang out with these guys. Maybe. I don't know. Speak for yourself. Okay. Well, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm squishy. You never know until you get there. <laughs> they might accept you. Yeah. I mean, if you just whip their ass, I mean, no matter. There's nothing they're gonna do about it. True. Then they probably accept you. Mm-hmm. You'd have to shave that beard. I don't think they care about that. No. I'll fight them all. If you kill them, I mean, it sounds like all you got to do is kill them, and they'll accept you. It's like Highlander. Anybody just Those disagrees, you just keep killing people until they all agree with yeah, you. Yeah, someone just looks at you the wrong way, you just murder him. Huh. You give a knuckle sandwich and fuck yeah. go on your that way. Because it's just weird. They're not out for monetary gain. They're it, just out for physical growth. It feels like there's just like a whole cult. Like you could go yeah. in, if you were the strongest man ever, you'd you be could the just leader. go in and kill everybody until they all agree with and you. You just negan the and whole And then group. you can conform them to what you want. The group to be well. Oh, is it sanctuary? Is it like a wolf pack? You You take out the top leader. You're the leader. You're the alpha. I'm my leader. Is oh yeah. You said there's no leader. Supposedly, yeah. It's a. uh, Anyways, there's not a leader. There's not. There's not. (laughs) Who leads? There's no. There's no center of the group. Who would be the priest? They're just priests. They're just people. They just give themselves that title because they're each groups. Yeah. So they're not all. They're like. A group in North Carolina, you got a group in South Carolina, you got a group in Georgia. Got a U- Each group one in has the UK. their priest or their whatever, but there's no. I feel like this will be the podcast where we will be inundated with the emails that uh, tell us the proper <laughs> way of things. Yeah. They ain't going to do shit. They're fucking pussies. There'll be some shit we got actually emails like, <laughs> they ain't going to do shit. Hang on. Fuck you. Hang they ain't going to do shit. <laughs> Fuck you. Hang on. I'm not a. Guess what? Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> gotta give all the utmost respect to any cult that we research because because they're all a bunch of happen. fucking pussies. They fuck six year old kids. They stab people when they're not looking. They're a bunch of pussies. Well, do you want to get into a David Myatt, who is <laughs> apparently the lead, the guy who created the Order of the Nine Angles? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna talk about David Myatt, aka Anton Long. Yep. Aka Abdul Aziz Ibn Myatt. Ben Minet. Or, or <laughs> it been my name. And my family. This is one of them rug languages. Abdul Akari. What so you, uh, a rug language? Uh so I'm trying not to touch my eyes. Um so he is linked to neo Nazi organizations. Right. The pseudonym Anton Long is assumed to be David Mayette, though he always denies this. Um, some people who have researched the nine angles think Anton Long may actually be several people. Right. Um, and that is more of an idea instead of an actual leader. Yeah, because they haven't actually found any proof of Anton Long. Right. But they found proof of the Muhammad or whatever that guy. Yeah, there's proof of him. Yeah, there's proof of him. And he's linked to several other groups that have ties to Right, the and then the, uh, the David Matt or whatever, was that his name? David Mayette. Yeah, David Maya. There's proof of him too, right? That's or what I'm it... talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's a real person. Yeah, he's a real person too. It's just the Anton Long. That's they think the... he's Anton Long. Right. And he says he's not. Because who published the papers and stuff? Was it David or Anton? Like they're using Anton like a they name. They use Anton to pay to as like publish the, a bunch of papers. As like the papers. pen name. Yeah. Okay. That's why he's just yeah. Um, David is a Tanzania British born author, poet, and philosopher. <laughs> Uh, he is a former British Muslim and former neo-Nazi, because since 2010, 
David has written about his rejection of his extremist past and about his rejection of extremism in general. So now he's against everything that he started in the 60s, 70s, everything he's been tied through. He turned? He turned, yeah. Hmm. Which is, I think, is a bit hypocritical. Because right now he's uh, working on translating and writing commentary on the Greek text of the Gospel of John. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's what you know, any neo-Nazi terrorist does. Which, One if I'm not mistaken, the <clears throat> Gospel of John deals with the seven signs with foreshadowing Jesus' resurrection, right? Oh, like the, the uh, seven seals? And we talk about the seven... The seventh seal, the seven... The seven uh, levels. Sevenfold way. The septenary way. Yeah, all that. Yeah. Everything's seven. Yeah, everything's seven. Even though it's called nine angles. Yeah. But everything else is levels of seven. I thought it was odd. It is. Thing... It's also odd that they have a game that they play. What, what game? A star game. The Order of Nine Angles star game. There's a basic and an advanced version. Uh, it's 100... We won't get into it. It's you just buy a bunch it? of technical. Yeah. No, I don't think it's something you buy. I think it's something they have that's specific. Well, Maya is regarded as an example of the axis between right-wing extremists and Islamists. and has been described as extremely violent, intelligent, dark, and is an expert martial artist. Uh, David is one of the more interesting figures of the British neo-Nazi scene and is, was, an al-Qaeda propagandist. Right. Uh, so he's the, leader of the first, he's the first leader of the British neo-Nazi movement and is supposed to be the big brain behind Combat 18, which is like the prerequisite group before... Combat 18? It's called Combat 18. I wonder if they're at Combat 19 now. No. <laughs> they're a neo-Nazi Satanist cult. Oh. So it's kind of like a baby step to the nine angles. Uh, but they're still around, too. Um, so in 90, 1998, he converted to Islam. So right. I guess he left behind his neo-Nazism and went to be a Muslim to for, kill Christians. Yeah, for the extremism, like yeah. ISIS and stuff, right? Because he, he's a very proponent of terrorism. Mm. In 1999, he released a pamphlet called A Practical Guide to Aryan Revolution, which describes a step-by-step instructions to um, be a terrorist. Are you going to oh. give us the steps? Uh, I won't give you the steps, but I can name off some of the titles. Oh, that Listen. sounds good. Um, yeah. So yeah. some of the chapters were called, one was called Assassination, one oh. was called Terror Bombing, Oh, okay. and the other one was Racial War. Huh. Yeah, that's a... I wonder what Racial War is. The Terror hmm, Bombing's a good like, song. Kind of like the, the... Those are all just the, solid, you know, American uh, ways of life, all those. That's Western culture in a nutshell. Mm. So this is interesting because I don't know if you, if you research a, uh, a guy called David Copeland. I've heard that name. He's like buddy-buddy with David Myatt. He was like a... Like second man. Second man kind of thing. Because he followed him through several different neo-Nazi organizations. He was the right hand of the left-hand path. Kind of. He did like the dirty work for him. Well, the cops uh, raided his home... And actually had found a pamphlet of that terror pamphlet in his house hmm. because oh. David Copeland was the nail bomber in UK. He would go around oh. and set nail bombs off Jesus. at areas that were frequently frequented by blacks, gays, pregnant women, anything. Just whoever. Yeah. And he said he did it because he wanted to start a racial war. Between who? The races. Just, Just uh, all races. the races. Right. Yeah. It was pretty much inciting racism. Yeah. I got you. Which is, that's a big no-no. Yep. Don't do that. A uh, nail bomb. That's a big Don't do no-no that either. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't kill anybody. No, don't kill anyone, but. So he was reading that, and then, like, detectives actually raided David Myatt's home and arrested him and took his computers and all of his files and were actually going through all of his stuff because they were saying that he was inciting violence and race wars and all this stuff, but they didn't have enough evidence against him to convict him. So right. So they let him go. Hmm. It's kind of ridiculous. Why'd they let him go? They just couldn't, you said they couldn't get they didn't enough have anything, evidence. Or... Ev- yeah, they didn't have enough evidence to prove that, like, they had hearsay in, like, the pamphlet. But there wasn't wow. any. Saying that he was, like, you know, kind of like Charles Manson, where it was kind of like, you kind of put the seed in other people's minds, and then they go do the violence. Yeah. Or any drug lord. Something, yeah. Yeah. But he, there was no actual there was physical no, evidence. Yeah, there was no that. video of him setting the bombs off or nothing. It's crazy. You think they'd find, like, some... Child yeah. stuff or something on his computer, so they can nail him with that. I think he was smart enough to stay away from that. He was he he, he managed three or four different neo Nazi organizations. And that gives me hope <laughs> that we don't plant stuff on people. Yeah, yeah. He probably he, he probably kept Polaroids in. I mean, a, like that's the guy we should plant something on, and we're just <laughs> like, no, we'll just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there's a few people that have a lot of it though. Yeah, 
So, <laughs> but it's interesting because in 2010 he just completely flipped script. Oh, he was like, no more extremism. So I'm you, no longer Muslim. You so can't do that. You can't get. Is it? It's not like getting beat in and you don't get beat out. You just can come and go as you want. Yeah. Have you actually seen a picture of him uh-uh. in his Muslim getup? Yeah, he was sitting in a cave. He just has like a fucking shit beard. He left him in a cave. Yeah. He went full, like, Bin Laden mode. Yeah. Dude, this is that guy that just, he goes full into everything, yeah. but only for three months. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I want to say that like this ex. is probably <laughs> addictive personalities. Like, you're full, full into the Nazi occult. And if you're not, then you are full, full into something else. Like, yeah. this guy's addictive personality. But this guy's yeah. got autism. Probably. Hey, yeah, his favorite color is yellow. Well, see, so he wrote a a book called The Numius, Numius Way. Mm. And pretty much it's just like... Good morals. It's like you know, treat others like you want to be treated. Fairness, compassion, honor. Wait. Yeah. Seriously. Okay. Yeah. So it's like kill to get to the top, and now it's like a children's book. Yeah. So I made a note saying, I guess he expects to do right by the world by writing a manifesto telling uh, everyone to be good. After starting three neo-Nazi organizations, presumably two Satanist cults, became an extreme Islamist, applauded Bin Laden, and wrote an instructional guide on how to be a terrorist. Yeah. And he writes one paper saying, treat others like you want to be treated. And he never got called either, did never he? Never got called. So that one time. He's still alive. Huh. I wonder where he's living, the mountains of Afghanistan. I think he's, I think he's still living in Shropshire, England. <laughs> Jeez. Probably. Because there's, probably... nothing, there's nothing to tie him. Yeah. There's no physical thing to tie him to the group. And he didn't actually do anything, like, violent himself. This guy's yeah. not going out much. He has someone get his groceries. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's he's playing big big dick chess or something. I mean, yeah. you probably can't go out. No. Yeah, he, he's got people bringing him food. He's got people bringing him like surveillance and all sorts of stuff. Maybe. And then he's writing children's books about how we need to be good and moral, and that's like his cover now. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. These guys are secretive and smart. Yeah. I just wonder. You don't know who, cover is this? Cause you don't know who's in it. One of us could be in it, and we don't know. Right. Yeah. Seriously. Just, yeah, yeah, you're right. I just wonder how much of a cover this this nice, you know, image he's portraying. Mm-hmm. I wonder it's how much of, Yeah, I wonder how much of his if it's a face. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah, cuz these people could be anywhere because yeah. since it's not an actual organized group, they don't know if there's like a handful of people that are actually extremely in it or like thousands of people that are extremely in it and then there's just a handful of leaders that kind of throw out the the signals you know well tell us about the soldiers that are embedded in our military currently if you well, want there's several do you have some thomas or? yeah there uh um a recent story is a uh, former paratrooper ethan mesler he was the uh in the first battalion of the 503rd infantry regiment and this happened in vicenza italy Mm-hmm. And this was in 2019 to 2020. He was plotting an ambush on his own unit to try to get some or all of them killed. And he was do- doing this by uh, leaking information to Taliban and ISIS and other militant groups in his immediate location. Yeah. Saying, hey, we're right here. This is a strategic spot. Come attack all of us and kill all of them and I'll help you. He was ready to die, he said. Yeah, he said, uh, one of his quotes there, he said, were you going to die for this? And he said, fuck yeah, I died for this. Like, yeah. he, he, he was gung-ho. Like, he said he, was, he would rather die than live in the world that we currently have or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he was fucking gung-ho. But luckily, they uh, charged him in June of 2020 because uh, they found the leaked information and the FBI came and snatched him up real quick. Yeah, I bet he went to Leavenworth. They found a lot of the Order of Nine Angles, like, teachings and texts and stuff in his area and on his stuff. Like, he had been reading it, and they found it. Yeah. And you said, yeah, and I know that there's a there's a, a pretty proud, you know, large group of people in the military. Yeah. And that's not the only guy. They found other people. Yeah. Well, uh, Meltzer was part of the Ropwaffen next zone. Rapewaffen. Rape Waffen? I think it's like, I think pronounced Rape Waffen. The Rape Waffle? Which I'm, th- I'm sure rape is German for something because the one that's in southern United States is called the Atom Waffen, and that means nuclear. So I'm sure rape means something different in German. See, in September 23, 2019, uh, Specialist Jarrett William Smith of Fort Riley, Kansas, was charged with distributing information related to explosives and weapons of mass destruction. 
alleged in federal court that Smith distributed explosive information and was planning on assassinating federal agents with three other people for the glory of his Satanist religion. Um, on February 10th, 2020, Smith pleaded guilty on two counts of distributing information related to explosive, destructive devices, and weapons of mass destruction, and he was sentenced to 30 months in federal prison. And he was also linked to Melzer. Uh, another one, Shandon Simpson. He was a member of the Ohio Army National Guard, and he was part of the group that went to Washington, D.C. for the George Floyd po- protest. Oh, shit. That was yeah. recent then. Yeah, this is recent. Yeah, a lot of this stuff uh, is within the last the year, year and this year as well. Um, he openly exposed uh, neo-Nazi teachings and yeah ways of life. Yeah, because this cult, it was... It, it hasn't really been around that long. They say that it started up... Um, What's wrong, Chris? Nothing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you hear that? You wheezing? Yeah. yeah. That's not good. Um, they said this cult started up maybe in the 1960s, but didn't start becoming more prominent till the 80s. So it's not that old. Yeah. But uh, anyway, he, he was part of the same Nexion as Melzer, and he was planning on shooting the protesters, Simpson. Oh, wow. He was going to go to Washington, D.C., uh, oh. Because he was neo Nazi and that started was, shooting. That would have fucked. But the FBI called him, but they got him after he was deployed. So they would have been a day or two late. He would have actually started shooting protesters in DC. Mm. Wow. That, that would have caused a, caused a nightmare. Um, there's another one uh, Corwin Storm Carver. Uh, he was in communication with the Ang- Order of Nine Angles and uh, had paraphernalia and was stationed in Kuwait. And he was actually a member of the same group. As Melzer. Oh, wow. So that's three or four different people already linked to the same. And they're spread out. One's Italy, one's in Kuwait, one's in Ohio. Yeah. And they're all part of the same Yeah. Uh, group. Yeah, if there's one, there's normally at least another. Uh, January 2020, Luke Austin Lane, a member of the Nine Angles, and two accomplices uh, were arrested for stockpiling weapons and plotting to kill an anti-fascist couple and their young children. Uh, in, pre- in preparation for this act, they... Sacrificed a ram, drank nice. the blood, and consumed psychedelic drugs in a cult ritual on his, on his property. That's it? Yeah. He got caught, though, so they didn't actually do it. I wonder how they got caught. Like, it must be some sort of Probably digital killed device. killed ram. Yeah, it, it, it had to be his neighbors. <laughs> it was just like, is that a goat? No, I think it's a ram, and he's out there just cuts the head off and he's just <laughs> drinking He got blood. in trouble for doing that? Killing the animal or for plotting to kill Plotting humans? to kill the family. They probably got the animal on him, too. And and they say he was arrested for stockpiling weapons and plotting to kill the family. Yeah, he must have had an email, must have had something, something where they were him. washing He didn't have him. information on how he got caught, yeah. but... Um, and, and this happened, these two happened in Canada. Apparently, Canada's, like, infiltrated with fucking... Yeah, Canada's angles. pretty bad about it, apparently. Apparently, there's... Uh, I have a note saying that apparently there's, like, higher-ranking members of the military and politics are part of the North Order. And, like, they're under, under investigation, but there's nothing to link them physically. It's right. just presumed. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you <laughs> serious? I think it might be. I don't know. It says on the box, if you have shortness of breath, you need to go see a doctor. I don't need to see a doctor. <laughs> but, <laughs> fuck the doctors and pussy-ass doctors. What's the, can you take fuck. a full deep breath? Yeah. What's it I sound was... like? <sighs> yeah. Well, okay. Does it feel like it's restricted? Look, I'm just looking to see if I'm allergic to any of these things. Are you? <laughs> yeah, that could be bad. Um, do, you, do you have you need uh, you have an EpiPen or do you have a breather or anything? You good? Who needs an EpiPen? <laughs> People with bee allergies. Yeah, I don't have bee allergy. <laughs> yeah, allergy. <laughs> I bee allergy. It, yeah. Okay. Um, on September 18th, 2020, Toronto police arrested 34-year-old William von Nudigame. And charged him with the murder of Muhammad Azlim Zafi. Uh, Zafi was a local mosque caretaker and was found with his throat cut. Wow. Toronto police said a killing was connected to the stabbing murder of Rampreet Singh a few days prior, which was a short distance from Zafi's murder. Yeah. So this dude pretty much, he came out, and this was like two months ago, not even. Uh, yeah. He just came out and just fucking stabbed this dude in the neck. Mm-hmm. And wow. I, uh, I don't even think they really knew each other, other than he knew that he was a caretaker for the mosque. Yeah. Like, that was the only thing that he needed. Right. Mm-hmm. It's fucked up. Well. Um, Williams is a member of the Nine Angles, 
and he had social media accounts that were linked to him that were ch- that had him chanting satanic chants. And then they ra- raided his house, and then they had a, uh, a nine angle symbol on a monolith in his house, like an altar. Oh. He worship this altar. Just gets down on his That's knees. Light, he lights yeah. a couple candles. And he's like, oh, and apparently he was part of the North Order, which is their Nexion. Which I don't know if we established what Nexions were. Nope. Nexions are like the little groups, little cells. The mm. sects. Of, yeah. And they're all over the place. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Canada is North Order. And there's a Canadian anti-hate organization that is aware of other non-Angle members. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> so they're researching. So. Yeah, they actually put a task, like you were saying, they put a task force against them. Yeah. Let it out, Chris. Let it's those big like sneezes out. Little pieces out. came in my nose. Oh, oh no! Let no, those big no sneezes way out. No. <laughs> so my body's like growling at me. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine it is. Mine would be too. There, there was another. Um, we were talking about the sexual abuse part. You want to hear a story or two about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just, yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah. get right into that. So. Uh, Sexual abuse is not mandatory, but it is prominent. So Ryan Fleming, uh, he's in prison for raping a 14-year-old girl. That's what he did. Wow. That's it, not- it's, de- it's not discouraged, right? It's They it, encourage violence, so this is not discouraged. If it's something that you need to excel your body, then they don't stop you. Right, right. Um, Andrew <laughs> Dymock... Uh, he was accused of 15 different terror terror offenses, and he is also accused of sexual assault of a 14 year old. Uh, they said that he carved Nazi symbols into her body. Nice, oh, mean. <laughs> Did he kill mean. her? He watched Inglorious Bastards. It was Bastard just sexual assault. Time. Oh, he probably choked her and stuff. I don't okay. think he killed her. Yeah, and carved in her body. Yeah, that's. That'd be a foul. Real bad. She lived, and then. Uh, Jackik Tchaikovsky, Tchaikovsky, whatever, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> he's convicted for having uh, 500 pictures and videos of children as young as eight years old being raped and of him doing necrophilia. Hmm. Necrophilia. On his computer. All the kids? With a dead person? Necrophilia? That's so what sa- necrophilia is, I bet yeah. he sacrificed somebody and then did it. Yeah, he fucked a dead body. That Maybe he more than once. That he killed? It didn't say that, but you know, when you have 500 pictures and videos of children six and up being mm-hmm. raped, and then yeah, wow, yeah, they got that from him and Ugh. said, "See you later." Adios. Yeah, it uh, makes sense. I wonder how many years you get for that life. Probably I like hope. probably like five. Probably life sentence. Probably five life sentence. Probably just five years. Depends on what state you're in. I don't know. I saw a girl. <laughs> if I, you're in New York, it's I, probably like six years. I saw a girl that got charged with. Um, underage assault and like a uh, multiple uh, charges, and she got seven hundred some years. Jesus! Mm-hmm. If she transcends, it don't matter. Yeah, she'll be immortal. <laughs> yeah, if you make it seven, <laughs> if you make it over seven hundred years, you're immortal. She's just gonna be like, All right, I'm immortal. The years twenty three ninety. <laughs> Time it... to go to the Milky Way, and she just sees herself out into the Milky Way. <laughs> Silver like... surfers are way on like <laughs> here's your blood. Oh, here's your <laughs> dude. <laughs> She goes to jail, and they're just like, here's your shoestring. <laughs> Epstein. See your way out. That's a bloody tampon just surfing through the Milky Way. <laughs> What's Galactus? Oh, <laughs> and then I have another... <laughs> boarded baby, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> another good fun fact is uh, the this organization or group or idea has released more books and text about magic and left-hand path than the Church of Satan and the Temple of Set combined. So they're the real magic... Users. They they know a thing or two about Satan and magic. They're cool with a K. Yeah. Magic don't have shit on them. Yeah, but when they do a human sacrifice, they absorb that magic. They Wiccans get the power. don't have shit on them either. I bet they don't get much mana from us mortals. <laughs> if you're willing, they can suck the mana out of you. Mm. You look like you're about to like sneeze and fart and then die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're just like... That's how I feel, man. It's like total recall when they I'm turn off the air. I'm worried they're, that you're going to go into cardiac arrest. What? Yeah, because my, my heart rate feels fine. Okay. Like, because I feel fine. <laughs> like, looks I, up like uh, I feel fine, but you feel it just going like. Do you think <laughs> a, a murmur now? 
Do you think an Alka Seltzer would help you? That probably would. not. I'm nice. pretty sure it's going to give everyone Crohn's disease. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what's happening. It's big Crohn's is just making us take it. Big the big Crohn's industry. Either you get Crohn's or Crohn's. celiac. It's one of them two. You get from this fucking chip. Yeah. So these chips were created by the Crohn's big Crohn's. Big Crohn's. Big Crohn's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always had a joke about that. Uh, I was at a comic strip about uh, the Tin Man. Yeah. Contracting Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease. Oh. <laughs> okay. See yourself out. <laughs> See yourself out. So what's what's crazy is that there's women that's a part of this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of women. Yeah, because part of the belief is that if you join this cult, you need to bring your partner in with you. That is part of the traditional belief as well. Is Are they, they like priests? The... Sorry. Oh, no, it's okay. Is that how they get the priestesses? I'm sure. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, if you're married or have a partner or something, they encourage you, like, you need to bring them in with you and not just leave them at home. It's like the Hells Angels or the Outlaws. It's like they bring in their bitches and then they spread, then they share their bitches with the other members. I don't know if they do all that, but they right. I mean, they fuck children, so I mean, yeah, they rape women. They have like communal orgies. But I'll the thing guess. is, it's not like a cult. You think they would? What would what what like pass around each other's women? Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't like. Say no, they won't do that. These guys True. probably aren't like that's my prop. Well, maybe they're like that's my property, but I'm telling you, like that's how the biker, the big, big badass biker gangs, they share their women. Like the Hell's Angels and the the outlaws, they share their fucking women. I know they'll just kill you, get, get uh, kick out a group if you're bad. If they deem you as a bad seed. Yeah. Why didn't they kill out. that guy? The, he, the leader that uh, flip flopped on him, but he could kill them first. Yeah, he's probably like the, see, he was probably the, he's the <laughs> best killer. It did say he was a martial artist expert. Yeah, anybody yeah. questioned him, he killed him. This was this was like a Muslim Steven Seagal. Yeah, Seagal. And who's to say he's not still doing their work too? Like that's yeah. why I'm it thinking it could just it's, be a cover up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I know I know it's all the thing where the Russians don't like uh, not angles. They stopped a couple of their attacks in that country. Oh, they wow. probably gave Putin Parkinson's. I heard he's getting out. <laughs> out of Parkinson's? I don't know how that's how it works. Oh, oh, he's, he is? He's actually going to step down? He said he's stepping down, right? Is that what that. you read? Yeah, because he's got the sh Michael J. Fox. His, his, his really? medical conditions making him step yeah. out oh, of office. That sucks. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. He'll he, step down when Trump steps down. He's going to step down and pull strings from his bed. Yeah. but He's still going to run. He's a puppet master. I, I would imagine the Russians... I mean... I imagine that they originated in Russia. What? I don't know why. Who? Wait, what? Not Angles? Didn't we talk about one that did? Oh, wait, wait. The Russians moved to Canada. That's what I'm getting confused with. Are you yeah, talking about the, uh, the uh, Sons freedom of Freedom. Freedom. freedom fights. Oh, I thought she was going to talk about the migration of humans over history. I was like, <laughs> Cross the talking Bering about like, the Sea <laughs> You're talking about the frozen ice bridge mean, that used to connect us? <laughs> yeah. I'll say Eskimos. Well, you can say that. All right, so the Russians, they, they didn't fuck around with this. They took them out. Yeah. I don't I, think any actual government or organization fucks around with this because this uh, the order is actually against government. Yeah. They're anti-government, anti-everything. Well, Canada doesn't seem to really... They have a task force against them. They don't seem to be doing very well. They've I mean, stopped them. They stopped a couple of Multiple them. Multiple times. Yeah. They're, they're, I mean, but it's, it's not saying there's not politicians that are part of this group. Yeah. You've seen the boys... I need to watch it. This could be like Hell Hydra. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, because they don't go around wearing a wearing a flag or promoting this, they're just doing their doing their business. And as long as it takes, is as long as it takes. Yeah, yeah. Well, they've got three hundred, four hundred years apparently, so they yeah. they are in for the long haul. <laughs> yep. It's going to get up to like twenty twenty three night twenty three eighty seven. They're going to start to have to make some shit happen. Well, the only thing that's really chilling about this. Is with the increase of social media, it's a lot easier for their information to spread. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is why you had more military people, more common people. Yeah, and I uh, will say the problem with military people is that they join the military, they hate the military. They feel alone. They feel like they're overworked. They feel like they don't get enough sleep. They feel like they don't they don't actually jive with the, the idea of the military and what they're doing. So then they start to look for other things. And most of the time, it is, it's the wrong things. Is that how you felt? No, but that's how I could easily see why it happens. I didn't, 
I didn't mind the military, but I wasn't also an active duty soldier. That's right. why the military has a humongously high suicide rate. So you get in there and you're just like, you disrespected my flag. Or you and can't you kill yourself. Or you can't. You don't get the. You don't get the 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 deployment station that you want. Or you get put in fucking oh. Wyoming where it snows half the year, and you still got to get up at seven o'clock in the morning and run PT in your fucking shorts because your first sergeant's a psychopath. Yeah, and you're a nineteen year old. Yeah, so and you, you don't want, even have this drive to do it. Or you're not getting the rank fast enough like your other peers. So there's many many problems with our military and why we have a high suicide rate and they're not getting to the bottom of it and fixing it. They're just putting a Band-Aid on it. So that's why these kids are going to these extreme, you know, things. So I can understand why. Yeah, it's stressful. Like all cults, it's just giving someone something of, of a belonging. Yeah. That's what it is. Giving them a place, a purpose. Yeah, I mean, they're still obviously active. I appreciate yeah, Thomas they... putting the target on his back. Yeah, that's fine. What are, they, um, what are they gonna do? There's, yeah, they are uh, still active, and there, I have a list of other. <laughs> it's not like Scientology. Like I don't mind telling Scientology to fuck off and suck my dick. I don't mind. So if here's you guys some other neo-Nazi Satanist groups that are linked or connected to nine angles. Okay. So if you happen to come across any of these fellows, they're all edgy together. Ooh. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the Adam Waffen Division, which is based in the Southern United States. Which actually have what about the Boogaloo Boys? They're off references, part of the same thing. They just probably aren't as extreme. As extreme, right? But um, but they're Southern USA. Uh, you can find some of the Adam Waffen in UK, Canada, and Germany. Oh, so you have the Black Order, which is a, re- a neo Nazi group that started in New Zealand. Sounds kind of badass. The Black Order, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can find them in Ireland and Scandinavia. Combat eighteen which is the prereq the the starter to nine angles is UK, Canada and US. Uh we have the Legion Avenue of Satan and the Nordic Resistance. That's in Scandinavia. Oh wow. That area. And then you have the Temple of Blood which is in US. So that the, one's cool. Do these guys have uh vests and they openly represent their club? No, they're all secrets though. So they don't even wear clothing that dick that that show you know like no. hell's angels like they have like walls. they have flags and yeah. like insignias but they're yeah. not they're, they're not, not f- like flaunting it they're not in the grocery store with their hell's angels fucking no, no, tab no, no, on their no, back no because no. no. no, this is highly frowned upon by normal government yeah. law enforcement civilization because it usually only means or leads to bad things yeah. mm-hmm. but their symbol is the nine angles symbol mm-hmm. like it's very specific and the reason that they have the symbols is because of the seven planets, the way the angles cross for uh, the sun, Mercury, and Mars, and all that. Right, right. But, like, I didn't know if Combat 18 was, like, a, a patch you put on your back. No. Okay. <laughs> C-18. <laughs> Which would be kind of cool. But we can get you one. Nope. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to stolen valor these guys. They're going to stomp me. <laughs> See, they were Temple of Blood or whatever. Stomp my ass out. Well... Um. Yeah, <laughs> that's our deep dive into nine angles. They're really they're yeah. hypocrites because they try to break off from the norm, but then they also steal everything from Arabic texts and Sanskrit scrolls and yeah. Indian religion and mysticism from Islam's and Sufi texts and Anton Long's a little bitch and you know nine angles itself has nine angles in it and you know it's just like. Just looping and looping and looping, and it steals from medieval Europe. And just Satan. Go fuck yourself. Sounds like they just took the best of they everything did. and just combined it into one and then, perfect and then thing. Someone, then someone called them out about the seven levels being stolen from Kabbalah, and they're like, nah, we're older than Kabbalah. We're older than the Kabbalah, That's baby. That's what he tries saying. They need to be original. That's They're just not original. Edgelord's the cult. Make up, make up your own thing. Well, I mean. Be yourself. They're they're alive and thriving, so maybe maybe there's something to be said about stealing, yeah. stealing ideology. <laughs> I, just, I just keep looking at Chris, and he's just like, uh. <laughs> yeah, Chris is in some pain over here, so um, be careful with these one chip challenges. The, uh, <laughs> let's say that these I'm are fine. these are the Carolina Reaper chips. They should make them hotter. This ain't nothing. 
<laughs> I've had hotter Doritos. Hey, we'll do we'll do the fucking uh the nut challenge next. What is the nut challenge? You jizz out the spicy nut in the Tyler's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I read a thing that uh, drinking semen releases serotonin. Okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> Yeah, of course, releasing semen. No, drinking semen. No, drinking oh, semen. Oh, oh. <laughs> like, it has chemicals that release serotonin and it's stuff. It's got serotonin in it. So It's, you're it's just... supposed to relieve depression. Drinking semen? Mm-hmm. Nice. Well, um, you're going to drink a lot then. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not depressed. Cool. <laughs> so, um, I'm good. Well, just be careful out there. It's a bad, bad time. Uh, we're getting back into the cold season, so... Um, <laughs> Shit's shit's about to start popping off, but hey, maybe our new uh, maybe our new uh, political system is going to handle it. Maybe. What do you guys think? <laughs> I don't have they, an opinion. They uh, seem to say that they will handle it better. I don't know, man. There's a new president elect, and COVID cases are already at a record high. So that's because he doesn't have his task force assembled yet. Yeah, yes. he can't get elected. And it's worse than Trump ever was. Well, the vaccine will be out by the end of the year, and it's ninety percent effective. Yeah, yeah, when the when the vaccine comes out, it'll be Biden's vaccine by then. So yeah. he'll get all the glory. I think Biden ran on curing cancer, so that should be gone soon. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because we've only been researching it for like two hundred years. Yeah. Biden already <laughs> forgot he had two d- debates. He forgot the first one. Well. It's uh, just be careful out there. Mm-hmm. Um, stay away from Nazi occults uh, if if you feel lonely out there. Just like always, um, you know, just just jack off, masturbate, get it out of your system, and uh, and I think you'll feel better after that. Yeah, get that <laughs> post nut clarity. Yeah. Chris, what what do you have for everybody? I guess if you still want to kill somebody after that, you just go to a doctor and tell them. <laughs> a, a psych doctor? Any doctor. Maybe even a police station. <laughs> yeah. You go to the dermatologist and tell them. Uh, you go get a colonoscopy, and while you got a finger up your ass, you're telling them that you've had these ideas. I just want to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, enlighten us. Oh. Yeah, prepare for a dark winter. Ah, yes, in the name of, in the words of Biden, prepare for a dark winter, right? Yeah. Okay. It's coming. Ah. Alex, what do you have for everybody? Parting words. Uh, Why did the accountant join a cult? Why? Because he found their compound interesting. (laughs) I get it. Oh, my God. Hey, listen. They don't get any better from week to week. <laughs> listen. What do you call the leader of the Elven cult? What? <laughs> L. Ron Hubbard. <laughs> <laughs> they are small people. Okay. Tom Cruise isn't very big. Uh, which which cult is the toughest? <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm done. I will say, All if, right. if you're listening to this and you're a part of a Nazi occult and we got anything wrong, email us. Tell us, you know, give enlighten us. Yeah. Um, we might not agree with your beliefs and philosophies, but that doesn't mean we're not willing to listen to you. Yeah, give us some details. You know, so yeah. we might not all get along on this planet, but I, but we're willing to listen and talk to you. Um, yeah. um, if anyone else wants to reach out to us, Thomas has all that information. We love reviews. We love stories. We love pictures. We love anything. We love shout outs. We love hate mail. How can they reach us, Thomas? Well, uh, go check us out on YouTube because this should be our first video podcast ever. So check us out there. Search Tack Lab on YouTube. But if you just want to listen to us, uh, you can search Tack Lab everywhere else. You know, we're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. And YouTube, like I just said, you can also support us at patreon.com slash tack lab. Go check us out. We get a couple of extra things there, or you can support us. Uh, yeah. Or you can make sure to leave us a comment or feedback on any of those other places that I just mentioned. And also we have a Gmail. It's tack lab pod at gmail.com. That's T A C T L A B P O D at gmail.com. There you go. 